Hey guys! You have no idea how many times I had to film that intro. It is really hard to do it when you're sitting down. Hey guys! Dora here. And I am sorry for the lack of videos. I know I said in my April book haul that I was going to try and do a video once a week. But that never happened. What did happen was a lot of crazy stuff. First, I'm done with school. And towards the end of June, we had a tragedy in my family. For those who follow me on Twitter or Instagram already know what I'm talking about. But if not, I really don't want to talk about it here on YouTube. Um, it's still a little bit hard to talk about it and not have all these emotions coming like they are right now but I just want to thank everybody who supported me and my family during that time still hard to talk about it sometimes I know it's already the second week of August but I decided to do my July wrap up a wee bit late I have been in a reading slope like I've been reading sp sporadically sometimes I read like five books in a month and then sometimes I read like two in a month Sometimes I don't even read. So without further ado, let's get started on my July wrap up. The first book I read, well, I didn't read <laughs> in July. I finished in July. And the book I'm talking about is The Rose and the Dagger by Rene Adier. This book is based off on, I think, A Thousand and One Nights or Arabian Nights. How, I mean, they're both correct titles, but. I don't know which one is the one used the most and it's about this king who takes in a bride every night and then kills them at dawn but then a woman comes in and she volunteers to be his wife and she ends up surviving a thousand and one nights I think that's the premise of the story this is the final installment to the wrath and the dawn my friend Ashley and I decided to do a book swap. We sent our wish lists to each other and decided to gift a book to one another. And I gifted her a book. If you want to see what book I gave her, I'll leave the video to it down the link below. The book that she gave me was The Wrath and the Dawn because it's one of her favorite books. And to be honest, The Wrath and the Dawn got me out of my reading slump. After I read The Wrath and the Dawn, I actually started reading a bit more. Then when I saw that The Rose and the Dagger was coming out soon, I was like in, already in love with The Wrath and the Dawn and I just needed the second book ASAP. I originally had put it on hold in my library, but I, I couldn't handle it. I, I wasn't patient enough and I ended up going to Barnes & Noble and picking up this copy. I usually order my books online because they're cheaper that way but for this book I couldn't wait I had to have the book in my hands like that day I gave this book a 99% I absolutely loved it it was a great conclusion to a duology and I thought since it's the final book in the duology that it was gonna be paced awfully fast and I wasn't gonna like it but it actually worked for this book to be paced really fast I found myself sometimes wanting a scene, but then I would think about it. Mm, no, I don't think so. If that scene would have been included in the book, then the story would have just been dragging on and then I would have been complaining about how the story just dragged on. It was paced perfectly for its final installment and I absolutely loved it. Shazi was spectacular, Khalid was great. There was only one death which I did cry, but I think I cried a lot, mostly because I finished this book during the time that the thing happened in my family, so I was already overly sensitive. Another great character that I loved her growth was Shazi's little sister. Ursa was a great character. Her development was spectacular. You don't really get to know her a lot in book one, but in this book, you really, really do get to know Ursa and you see her grow into this woman. This next book that I read in July, I did not get to finish. Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. 
I didn't get to finish this book because it just wasn't my type of thriller mystery. I would say it's more sci-fi than thriller. It was really hard for me to get into this book. It was easier to put it down for days at a time and when I tried to pick it up again I would probably get like two three pages in and be like ugh I can't do it. I'm not gonna force myself to waste my time on reading on something that my heart just isn't into it. Third book I read and finished in the month of July is The Lightning Thief by Rick Riordan. I gave this book a 97%. I enjoyed it so much. I've always been captivated by the Greek mythology. I love Medusa. I love the gods like Zeus and Chronos and Hades and to read a book where it captures them in a different light is actually really cool. This next book that I read was actually an audio form and that is To All the Boys I Loved Before by Jenny Han. I gave this book a 92%. I enjoyed the story a lot. It was a great read but there were several things that really bothered me about Lara Jean. Lara Jean to me felt like she had this picture of what romance and boyfriend and girlfriend should be and when she finally got the opportunity to be in a relationship she didn't want to be in it because it wasn't to her expectations and to me that made her a little childish and naive and it's definitely something that I didn't like about her character. Maybe it's also because of the narrator of the story because the narrator who was narrating the story of the audiobook sounded a bit childish as well and that just made Lara Jean more whiny and childish like I said and I just didn't like that about Lara Jean. But it was definitely a good read. The last book I read in July is Losing It by Emma Rathborn. I actually won this book on a Goodreads giveaway. This book is about Julia, a 26-year-old virgin. And after quitting her job, she has to spend the summer with her aunt, who is also a virgin. Julia is trying to figure out why her aunt is still a virgin at the age of 50-something. Now, I gave this book a 61, but in reality, I want to give it like a 40. 39 percent. This book was not what I was expecting it to be. Julia seemed to be snobby a lot of the time. She was a major hypocrite and then she would tell her aunt's business to everyone she met. Like it was her job to tell people that her aunt was still a virgin and the way she would say it as if it was such a bad thing and I would be like girl you're 26 years old and you're a virgin as well like why the judgment? Those are all the books I read in July. I should probably say that the first two though I finished in July. That is all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for being patient and to all my subscribers slash new subbies who have been subscribed to me since my book haul videos. Thank you for hanging in there with me and I really appreciate it. I love you guys so much and thank you for all your support. That is all and I'll see you guys in my next video.